Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot your Gateway NE56R webcam and I got this request from Mark and he says that, um, let's see, he has a problem with his NE56R laptop, the built-in webcam is no longer functioning and it doesn't show up as being connected. He tried downloading the latest drivers and the laptop still says that there's no webcam installed and he did not drop the laptop so maybe the wire became unattached somehow so I'm gonna answer his question and say yeah most likely the cable that's right behind this frame so if you'll focus on it the cameras right here there is a cable that's right next to it on, on the left that connects to the webcam and sometimes that cable can be um, it's somehow it becomes unattached if you have a gateway laptop and hopefully every laptop actually has a gate um, a webcam software installed so all you gotta do is just go to start and type in web cam and then you can type in webcam but mine already shows up right there as video web camera and as you can see it says no webcam detected try plugging in a webcam into your computer now so as you can see this webcam is not being detected. All right, so now I'm gonna switch over to the other camera and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this issue. Okay, everyone, so for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna leave the laptop on just so I can get back to the laptop or the software faster versus showing off the laptop. What you're gonna do is make sure your laptop's off, okay, so don't want anyone to get electrocuted. There is a black frame that goes around the laptop, and if you kind of look at the top of the screen, which you guys can't see, hold up. There is like a little gap between the lid, which is right here, and the display frame. All you gotta do is just stick your fingernail between the two plastic pieces, and basically pry the frame apart. But be careful as not to pull too hard or you can break the locking clips that are right behind it. So basically, you're just going to grab the screen. The, the screen. You can grab the, um, the frame and pull the frame away slowly. And I hope I don't break anything. This is always the scary part. Okay, that's one. As you can see, that corner is loose. Now keep going along the the um, the edge of the display, and hopefully the rest of them should come off as well. Oh my gosh, that's very very nerve wracking because you don't want to break anything. Um, okay, I got the edge that's on this side up as well. Let's move over to this side. And you can use a screwdriver if you want to, but the screwdriver is just probably going to damage it even further. So just use your fingers and be very, very careful. Work your way across. All right. As you can see, I'm working my way to the other side. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. All right. The places that you, that you want to be the most careful of is the corners. So this corner as well as the corner is on that side because that's where a locking tab really holds on really tight. The ones that are along the edge right here, they're not holding the frame in as tight as the corners are. So be careful of the corners. Oh my God, that's very, very scary. And last corner. Doesn't want to come off. Oh my god, okay. So now you can work your way. On the edge of the screen as well. So basically it goes down to the bottom and stops. Do not pull the bottom off because the bottoms hold on by screws. So if you were to replace the display these screws on the bottom corners would come out, but for the webcam cable, you don't need to. 
All right, so now I might need to switch cameras again because this camera does a terrible job at focusing up close. But basically, there is a cable right See if I can zoom in on here. All right. There's a cable right here, and as you can see, it's unplugged. I'm gonna switch over to our camera. So, all right, guys. So, once you guys get this frame away from the screen, as you can see, this cable is unplugged, and this cable plugs in. If I can even focus this camera, it goes in right here, right where this black piece is. So basically if you look with your eyes, you can see where it plugs into. And make sure you plug in the cable the correct way. So as you can see, this cable, that's this is the top where the gold, the gold uh, looking connectors are. The bottom is where it's colored, so it's kind of like red yellow and kind of like a dark blue that goes on the bottom so make sure you have the make sure you have the gold colored wires facing up and then plug this into that black piece all right so i'll show you guys what it looks like after so the cable is plugged in right here and it's plugged in towards the left uh, the right side so the white piece goes left into the black little connector and that should be how to plug in your webcam. All right. Now, if you plug in your webcam up here, I mean, if you take apart your laptop right here and then the, this cable is still plugged in, you can try unplugging it and then plug it back in. And if that doesn't work, then that means the cable that runs behind this display, the LCD display, is, da is damaged somewhere behind the screen. And that requires taking apart the laptop even further. So now, I once you get that cable plugged in, just snap the frame back together again. And this corner as well. And then the edges. All right. Now if you spin the laptop back around again, oh my gosh. You can see if you go into the webcam software again, There we go. The camera works again. I mean, the webcam works again. And there's the green dot, or the green light. All right, so that's how you would uh, troubleshoot the webcam on a Gateway NE56R. All right, thanks for watching.